Okay, I um, wanted to make a quick video um, and kind of say some, uh, you know, we had some good news. Um, did some troubleshooting and some working um, off camera because I just knew it would be a clunky process. And, you know, in summary, um, you know, I, I used a tutorial video um, that I saved to our playlist called Deploy React App on Google App Engine. And if you've been following along, you know that I kind of tinkered with this and got some permissions issues. And in this video, you know, he uh, basically, you're, you're doing a similar process. Unfortunately, it's not as quite as, uh, there's more steps. And through these more steps, you did enable permissions. It said grant permissions to, you know, the account that needed them. And so it fixed my issue. And so the good news is that here, uh, I, I now have my React app uh, bug tracker that we've been developing on local host. And you can see this is now hosted live. And I can log out and I can log in. And, um, you know, if I log in, there's my user um, editing bugs. And if I change, if I change my, you know, bug, you know, it's hitting the, this, this is a demonstration of a full stack, you know, MERN stack with our, with our bug tracker, both of them deployed to Google Cloud, which I think is ideal. Um, and so I added this video, uh, thanks to this fella, I, you know, have no idea, just did a Google search, found his video. Now, uh, I did this, granted this, both of us have our full stack apps working. The one additional thing that, that there's a couple of things in here um, that I'm going to mention that will help you along the way if you follow along with this video. Um, when you are going through Google Cloud, um, I have my backend project, which is called Issue Tracker, uh, Gudmestead Issue Tracker, and this is my, my backend. You're going to create a new project for the front end. So, you know, you're going to log into Google Cloud and you're going to click on new project and that's how you'll get started. Um, and then you're gonna go into the terminal. So you're gonna come into a terminal window here and you're gonna do a git clone, okay? Now when you do a git clone, of course, you're gonna need to authenticate to github.com. And when you authenticate to github.com, you think username and password, um, but GitHub changed that so that you can no longer just authenticate with the username and password and you'll get an error message telling you if you try that um, of which you're going to need to generate what's called a personal access token so here's another article that you'll need to follow and what you'll do is you'll generate this access token and then you'll use this token, you'll use the personal access token as your password. So you're gonna to need to authenticate, you put in your username. When it asks for your password, you need to put in the string of characters for your personal access token into the terminal. So in addition to this video, one thing that, that wasn't solved there is that you know when authenticating to GitHub, you have to now do it. Uh, with this new uh, credential personal access token. Okay, so that's one thing. The second thing I will mention is that <clears throat> um, when, when you're creating this app.yaml, YAML, YAML, um, the node time of, of node that we're working with is Node.js 18, so you can change that number to 18. Grant, verify that you did that for me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So so you want to change that to 18? Um, that should work. Actually, I didn't change it to 18, so either way should work, but you know, I got a warning saying, hey, node 12 is no longer supported. And I will say that I, I tried to leave this out, the static files, and that caused some problems. So, so this is basically the contents of your app.yaml, and you, you want to, um, use all of that. Basically, copy and paste this. That's in the uh, that's in the description of this video that I added to the playlist. Now, um, I wound up instead of using he uses a tool called Vim App .yaml, and that is a command line editor 
for modifying a file. Um, because I've never used Vim, actually saving that file and getting the, the contents to be saved in there, you know, I was like, I don't know, I hit escape and I couldn't figure out how to save it, so I struggled with that. And so I was able to, when you get there, when you get to that part of the, the video, you can click on open an editor. And you'll notice when you click on open an editor um, that your app.yaml is here. Okay, and you'll even notice here I did I did Node.js 12 and I have all this extra stuff and there I got a comment and a hyphen and you know the, the syntax there is you know important obviously if you don't copy the hyphen or, or something you know I'm sure it will error out so you know copy and paste just the contents and then you save it and you know reopen it just to make sure that it is there and then you can go back to terminal so that is something else you know value that I could provide to getting this to work all that just to say um, I'm very excited and very happy that our issue tracker full stack is now not only, you know, it's not done, right? We still have a lot more work to do, but we have a full stack live application. Now, uh, reiterating something I said before, these steps are optional. No part of your grade will ever be determined on getting this deployed to G Cloud. It is a requirement that I cannot make because G Cloud requires a credit card and I can't force my students to have a credit card. Um, with that being said, G Cloud gives you a trial and at the expiration of that trial, they do not automatically charge you. That is something that, that uh, you know, we read and, and that, that should be the case. And so, you know, uh, don't get charged, right? Um, this is a trial. You can use a trial during the class. If you choose to enter your credit card, you are choosing to take the responsibility of not getting charged. However, you should not get charged by default. Um, ultimately, your trial will run out and you'll have to you know, change your settings to, to pay for this. Um, so here it is. It is a working front end. Um, those are the things that I can add to to that video and we'll keep this one short uh, seven minutes grant did I miss anything there I don't think so um, you know and what we'll have to do moving forward because we're not done with our front end as we make changes to our front end we're gonna need to redeploy it which means we're going to have to redo some of these steps. Redeploying the back end is pretty straightforward. You can go right into the terminal and say gcloud out deploy. I'm not sure if we can make it. I'd like to get it that straightforward on. Um, I'd like to get it that straightforward here. In fact, here's my app.yaml, and this is what, I, what I'm going to do even in this video is I'm going to um, I'm going to extract, this is localhost, there's my Mongo, there's the old lab. I'm going to extract his uh, template for the um, that into my app.yaml. So moving forward, you know, we got this deployed once, redeployment uh, will be will be the next step and I, I want to make redeployment simple I'd love for us to just be able to go into here and do G Cloud app deploy to the right project and and be good um, but uh, that's that's something that we'll I have to experiment with so all right uh, good news great news very happy um, you know of course if you're doing this not live and you are having issues well, you know, that's what I'm here for I can always help uh, all right I need a good sign-off, you know, don't have a good YouTube sign-off.